I just wanted to share with you my excitement at receiving my invitation to the Queen's Diamond Jubilee celebration on Monday the 4th of June. As you see there, the bunting will be out, the Union Jacks, and we will all join together with bouncy castles, barbecue food, <laughs> and the like, to celebrate our Germanic hereditary rulers. Isn't it interesting, though, that when people try to celebrate St. George's Day, you know, he of dragon slaying fame, uh, whether that be on St. George's Day itself or even on a England football match, for example, we get articles like this. Anger over St. George flag multiculturalism ban uh, and political correctness is killing St. George's Day. In 2008, Bradford and Sandwell banned St. George's Day parades because they might cause trouble. And why? Because people are afraid to display the St. George's Day flag, you know, the red and white flag for England, because they might, aff they might offend ethnic minorities or immigrants. So you can only display the flag symbolizing your uh, allegiance to the ruling royal family when the establishment approves it. Now, this all ties into something we've talked about before, which is the quandary of the 21st century English patriot, because the pillaging and the uh, bloodshed that the people who acted under this flag in our name have performed over the last several centuries is, of course, nothing to be patriotic about. Um, the American patriot has the same kind of quandary in the contemporary sense because, you know, the current people in charge in Washington have completely abandoned the ideals of the American founding fathers. So, what's left to be patriotic about for the modern day Englishman? Well, it's the Magna Carta, common law, and the very bedrock of justice that became the template for the founding fathers. It's not this Germanic hereditary ruling family. But this is what we've been fed by the establishment that this uh, gaggle of virulent parasites that call themselves the royal family, um, you know, are our supreme overlords. And the only way and the only time during which we can express our patriotic fervour is when the Queen has a celebration and we all bow down and worship her. But you can understand it to a certain extent. I mean, British culture has been so weakened and assaulted by enforced multiculturalism and you know on the political front with the uh, evisceration of sovereignty through the European Union that people think that when they display this Union Jack that they're somehow striking back against that assault on our bedrock of culture and patriotism um, when in reality they're just reaffirming their subjugation to this ruling elite which despises their very existence take for example our good friend Prince Charles. One must take shorter showers, says Charles. Prince urges British families to snub the bathtub. So because Charles is this great enviro crusader, of course he's got a dozen palaces, you know, hundreds of acres, thousands of acres of land to his name. But he lectures us all day about how we need to reduce our living standards uh, and not take a hot bath. Likewise, Prince Philip of World Wildlife Fund fame you know the charity that urges you to donate to them to save the tigers not including the tigers that Prince Philip likes to shoot when he goes hunting in Africa but aside from that Prince Philip who again we will bow down and worship on June the 4th has stated in his own words on many occasions that he wants to return as a deadly virus to wipe out humanity basically because there's too many of us and we need to be culled so he often expresses his wish to wipe out, you know, the, the poverty-stricken scum in the world, and yet we're supposed to get together and bow down to him in this patriotic further. So basically, I think we need to redefine patriotism in England, and the diamond jubilee is just another way that the establishment fools people into misdirecting and misplacing that patriotism. But I want to know how you're planning to celebrate the Queen's Jubilee because I know I'm very excited about it so drop me a comment below uh, and we'll see how everybody else is preparing for this um, fantastic celebration of our hereditary Germanic rulers.